Three phase inverters are very interesting. In the previous video, we saw what a three phase inverter is and the basic working of a three phase inverter. We saw that it has two modes, two conduction modes, one in 120 degrees and one in 180 degrees. But what are those two conduction modes? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So, what do you actually mean by 120 degrees conduction mode in a three phase inverter? Well, let's find out. So, in the previous video, we saw the basic circuit diagram of a three phase inverter. If you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch it. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. So, this is a basic circuit diagram of a three phase inverter. So, putting it into a nutshell, this particular DC voltage is converted into a three phase AC output. That is, we are getting three outputs here one from phase A, one from phase B and one from phase C. So here, let us attach the output of these three phases to three particular loads like this. So let these be three loads with impedances Z. So let the terminal of phase A be connected here and let the terminal of phase B be connected here and that of C be connected over here. So therefore, this is A, this is B and this is C. So here, three impedances are connected in the star configuration. So we have three impedances over here. So what do you mean by the term 120 degree conduction mode? It's very simple. It just means that each of these switches will be on for 120 degrees. As simple as that. That is the whole time period for a switch is 180 degrees. So out of this 180 degrees, the switch will be turned on for 120 degrees. As simple as that guys. So for the rest 60 degrees, the switch will simply be turned off. So, this switch will be turned on for 120 degrees and then this switch will be turned on for 120 degrees and that keeps alternating between each other. As simple as that guys. That is what you refer to as a 120 degree conduction mode for a three phase inverter. So, the SCR will be conducting for 120 degrees. So, here these switches, we are using SCRs as these switches as discussed in the previous video. So, when we give a triggering pulse to one of the gates of this SCR, this SCR becomes conducting. So, that is how we turn on and turn off these particular SCRs. So, in the case of 120 degree conduction mode, each of these SCRs will be conducting for 120 degrees. So, here these SCRs are numbered in the following format. This is T1, this is T3, and this is T5, and this is T2, and this is T4, and this is T6. So this is how these particular SCRs are numbered. So now let us see a particular diagram which has got three phases A, B, and C. Let us divide this into intervals of 60 degrees. So what we observe here is that let us take the case for phase A. So in the case of 120 degree conduction mode, switch T1 will be on for the first 120 degrees. So, for the first 120 degrees, the switch T1 will be turned on and therefore, for the rest 60 degrees over here, it will be turned off. Nothing would pass. So, only through this 120 degrees, T1 would be conducting and now for the next 120 degrees, T4 will be conducting. So, here from 120 to 240 degrees, T4 will be conducting and now for the rest 60 degrees, what we observe here is that it will be turned off. So this is the case of phase A, as simple as that guys, as simple as this. So now next let's see the case of phase B. This is very simple, listen carefully. So phase B, what we discussed in the previous session was that in a particular three phase inverter, the second phase is at a phase difference of 120 degrees. So whatever switch is turned on would be 120 degrees after this particular phase. That is, it would be turned on from here from 120 degrees. So here what we observe is that for the first 120 degrees switch T3 is turned on. So here for the first 120 degrees we obtain switch T3 which is turned on and for the next 60 degrees it's turned off. We're not, nothing is on there. Now for the next 120 degrees switch T6 is turned on. So that is from here like this T6 and from here like this T6. T6 is turned on and here there is nothing. As simple as that guys. And now for the third phase C, it is at a phase difference of 240 degrees with the first phase. That is 120, 240. So whatever switch is turned on, it is turned on from here. So first here, switch T5 is turned on. And for the next 60 degrees, we obtain nothing. And now for the next 120 degrees, like this, switch T2 is turned on. 
and for next 60 degrees nothing is turned on so as simple as that guys this shows us which all switches are turned on when so now let us see the first case that is from angle 0 to 60 degrees so in from 0 to 60 degrees what we observe is that both switches t1 and t6 are turned on that is switch t1 and t6 so when switch t1 and t6 are conducting the current flows like this it goes off from the capacitor it passes through t1 it goes through this particular load and then it goes through here and it completes a circuit like this. So therefore I will just simplify this and draw that from 0 degrees to 60 degrees we get something like this. Because here the positive value of VDS is, is connected to A, positive value of VDS is connected to A and the negative value of VDS as simple as that guys. So here this is neutral so that is N which I have written here. So what VAN is given as? VAN is equal to this voltage source VDS into this particular impedance Z by the total impedance Z plus Z which is equal to VDS into Z by 2Z which is equal to VDS by 2 that is VAN. Now what VBN gives us is that VBN is equal to minus VDS into Z divided by Z plus Z which is equal to minus VDS by 2 as simple as that. So this is the case from 0 degrees to 60 degrees. So similarly we can find the value for 60 degrees to 120 degrees, 120 to 180, 180 to 240, 240 to 300, 300 to 60. So I will just write those values down. It is very simple. You can just calculate it like this. So we get values like this that is from 60 to 120 degrees. VAN is equal to VDS by 2, VBN is equal to 0 and VCN is equal to minus VDS by 2. And similarly for 120 degrees to 180 degrees we get VAN is equal to 0, VBN is equal to VDS by 2 and VCN is equal to minus VDS by 2. So similarly we can get the other values here as well. So now drawing the phase waveforms of these what we get here is that first let us see the case for VAN. So for VAN for 0 to 60 degrees it is VDS by 2 and from 60 to 120 degrees it is also VDS by 2 but from 120 degrees to 180 degree VAN is equal to 0 and if we further find the values for 180 degrees to 240 degrees it would be minus VDS by 2 and minus VDS by 2 and again for 360 degrees it is 0. So this is the case for VAN. Now let us see the case for VBN. So taking VBN what we observe here is that for 0 to 60 degrees VBN is equal to minus VDS by 2. So therefore here it is minus VDS by 2 and from 60 to 120 degrees it is 0 and here from 120 to 180 it is plus VDS by 2. So guys therefore this is a basic pattern. It follows a basic pattern like this. You just have to remember the pattern. Once you get the start you can complete the pattern like this. So here this is the case of VBN. Now let us take the case of VCN. So for VCN for 0 to 60 degrees it is 0 here like this. And now for 60 to 120 degrees it is minus VDS by 2. And now from 120 to 180 it is minus VDS by 2. So you guys can now complete the pattern like this. As simple as that guys. This is the phase waveform in the case of a three phase inverter in 120 degrees conduction mode. As simple as that. Next we have something which is referred to as the line waveform. Line waveform is difference between the lines A B and C. So first let us see the case for VAB and then for VBC and then for VCA. So VAB is given as VA minus VB. So for the first 60 degrees VA which is plus VDC by 2 minus VB which is minus VDC by 2. So plus VDC by 2 minus minus VDC by 2 is equal to VDC. Simple mathematics plus VDC by 2 minus minus VDC by 2. So minus of minus becomes plus. So this is equal to VDC. So therefore for the first 60 degrees we get VDC. And now from 60 degrees to 120 degrees we obtain plus VDC by 2 minus 0 which is VDC by 2. And now for 120 degrees to 180 degrees we get 0 minus plus VDC by 2 which is minus VDC by 2. And now from 180 degrees to 240 degrees we get minus VDC by 2 minus plus VDC by 2 which is minus VDC. So for here also the pattern repeats like this. So this is the line waveform for VAB. 
Now let's see the case for VBC. So for VBC is given as VB minus VC. So first from 0 to 60 degrees we get minus VDC by 2 minus 0 which is minus VDC by 2 itself. So since we've gotten the start here we can continue this particular pattern like this. As simple as that guys. Next let us see the case for VCA. So VCA is given as VC minus VA. So for 0 to 60 degrees VC minus VA is 0 minus VDC by 2 which is minus VDC by 2 here. That is it forms this part. So therefore completing the rest of this we get something like this. As simple as that guys. So this is the line waveform for the case of a three phase inverter with 120 degree conduction moment. As simple as that. So guys, this does sums up what you refer to as a three phase inverter in a 120 degree conduction mode. As simple as that guys, that is each of these switches are turned on for 120 degree phase. As simple as that. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a three phase inverter working in 120 degree conduction mode. And we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.